Welcome to Garland's heat welding for modified bitumen membranes application excellence video. Generally, heat welding is associated with thermoplastic roofing materials such as PVC, TPO, and KEE. However, heat welding is becoming increasingly popular with modified bitumen systems because it offers substantial benefits over the traditional adhesive bleed out method. These benefits include delivers a clean, watertight seam, removes concern of whether each seam has the proper amount of bleed out. Eliminates adhesive tracking across the roof during installation. More efficient than alternatives. Heat welding methods. There are two primary methods for heat welding seams, open flame torch or hot air equipment. While both methods work to form solid watertight seals at the seams of a modified roof, the open flame method is not permitted for use with garland roof systems because of the associated fire hazard and its susceptibility to operator error. The most reliable and most efficient method for heat welding modified seams is to use hot air equipment, either with a robotic machine or hand welding equipment. Both types of equipment apply heat to the modified bitumen seam through a nozzle, evenly distributing heat to the 4 inch seam to the point of liquefying the compound. The robotic hot air welding machines preheat the area directly in front of the weld nozzle. There is a pressure roller behind the nozzle which concentrates the machine's weight directly over the seam, ensuring continuous watertight adhesion. This allows the process to be accomplished by one operator as opposed to two, and the result is a more controlled welding process. The hand welding equipment performs the same job as the robotic welding machines. However, the hand welding equipment is designed to be used in more confined areas such as details and vertical seams, whereas the robotic welding equipment is typically reserved for use in the field of the roof. The hand welding equipment also requires the use of a hand roller to press the seams to ensure a continuous watertight bond. Equipment For robotic heat welding, Garland recommends using the Leister Bitumat B2 hot air welder or equivalent. The Leister Electron ST or equivalent is the recommended equipment for hand welding. The nozzle size and type are also important to consider. Typically, a 4 inch nozzle should be used since most modified roof seams are 4 inches. The type of nozzle for hand welding equipment will depend on each detail, though a wide nozzle should work for most modified roof details. Application Recommendations Hot air welding side and end laps of the top membrane is acceptable in the following garland roof systems. Self-adhered, hot applied, weather king, black knight cold. Heat welding seams is not permitted on garland roof systems using green lock adhesive because of its moisture cure chemistry. Premature skinning and off-gassing can occur when the adhesive is exposed to the heated air from the heat welder. This can lead to the development of mole runs along the seam, which can cause increased weathering on the membrane in that area and premature failure of the seam. When heat welding laps, it is critical that the adhesive used to install the modified membrane be applied at the specified rate to the entire substrate up to 4 inches from the side lap and 8 inches from the end lap of the cap membrane to create a continuously solid adhered membrane. When the adhesive is not brought up to the proper distance from the seam, an air dam can form along the seam, which can lead to failure of the seam. The membrane should be set into the adhesive and pressed into place by brooming or rolling to ensure contact with the adhesive under the membrane. All excess adhesive must be removed from the top edge of the salvage lap or underlying end lap prior to hot air welding the laps. Where no compound is visible at the edge of the side lap or end lap, Laps should be checked by probing with a trowel or probing tool after the membrane has cooled. Avoid stepping on the side laps before they have been heat sealed and rolled. Stepping on the lap can make it stick and tear when the lap is lifted for heat welding. The corners of the underlying membrane at end laps and the corner of the salvage edge on the side laps at T-joints should be cut at a 45 degree angle, the width of the salvage edge, 4 inches. This will promote bitumen flow out at the side laps and ensure watertight T-joints. The desired result of heat welding the laps should be a small uniform pencil line bead of compound visible at the laps. Safety concerns and precautions. Proper personal protective equipment under OSHA and the NRCA standards should be used at all times. Hot air welding equipment produces high concentrations of heat, which if used improperly can be a potential burn and fire hazard. Additionally, if the speed is set too slow or the nozzle slips out of the seam during the weld, there is the potential for the liquefied bitumen to spit or spray out of the seam, presenting a potential burn hazard to the operator and other workers.
While the techniques shown here may be applied to most projects, this video is not comprehensive to cover all situations. Always refer to your local Garwin representative for particular details pertaining to the project. We encourage you to contact your local Garwin representative with any questions.